One of the first dream I had about Abu Sadaq was um, because my brother, he was a believer for the past 13 years. And he always wanted to tell me about this Dawa, about Abu Sadaq and everyone. But I never used to believe in it. And whenever he tried to send me a photo or whenever he tried to like send me YouTube links or anything, I never used to open it. So I didn't even know how he looks like. I didn't even know his name. I didn't even know anything about Imam Ahmad Al Hassan. So, and I always used to say, yeah, I did watch it. But to be honest, I never opened any of them. And after 12 years, I came to visit my brother and I really wanted to see like who's this guy that he always talks about. The only thing I knew was Imam Mahdi, that's all. And I came here, but Abu Sadaq was really busy, so I didn't get the chance to meet him. And But the only thing he told my brother was if she goes back to Iran, something bad will happen for her. But to be honest, I didn't really trust it. and. But one night before my flight, I had a dream. It, to be honest, it, well, to me, it wasn't a dream. I woke up in my room and um, I saw a really old, uh, ugly woman. She was green, like it wasn't a human. To me, she, she, she didn't look like a human. And then she was uh, push, like pulling my hand. And at the same time, uh, like I got scared because she looked really weird and scary. And then at the same time, like I could see two uh, men standing by the door and the, both of them had black hats and long hair, but I couldn't like, first I couldn't really see them. And then one of like, and then at the same time when she was trying to pull my hand, uh, one of them told me, uh, one of them called me and then he said, Rosita, come here, give me your hand. And I was really confused because I was like, who's this guy? Like I never saw these two. And then, but because she was pulling me and at the end when I woke up because she pulled me really hard and because I, I wouldn't really trust them, I didn't go with them. And then, but he, he, he wanted to grab my hand, but, but I didn't do it to be honest. And then she pulled my hand and then I woke up. So, and then I went back to Iran, something really bad happened for me. After exactly after two weeks, I was about to die. And I, at that moment, I only, like, I closed my eyes and then I was like, God, either just kill me or help me. I don't even know who's that guy that my brother always tried to explain to me in these 13 years. But if, like, if it's Imam Mahdi, if it's like, I don't even know. But if you are really there, just save me, save my life because I don't want to die. And if you save my life, I'm going to come and join your community and I'm going to believe in you. That time I closed my eyes. And yeah, I was about to die. And I don't know how the police just walked into my house. And yeah, I just, I woke up, I was in hospital. And the doctor said it was a miracle. Like the way that police came to my house, like the things that they did to me. And that time again I had a dream, I, I was sitting in a dark circle and I saw Abu Sadiq again. Even that time I didn't know his name. And then he tried to grab my hand and he, as soon as he grabbed my hand I woke up and the police just walked in my, into my house. And after when I came here, as soon as I walked into community I saw him and then I was like, oh my god, like I saw this guy in my dream two times. And when I went to his office, I explained all my dreams and everything that happened to me. And when I, but I, I told him, I was like, there was another guy next to you. And when I described how he looked like, he just showed me his, like he, he had a picture on his phone. And then he showed me, he was like, was it this one? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was exactly him. He said, yeah, that was Imam Ahmad Al Hassan. And yeah, that was the time that I believed. Like Abbas Sadaq and Muhammad Al Hassan.